Hi guys, tonight we're going to make a recipe, it's called Pumpkin Delight. Um, one of the girls, one of my office mates gave me the recipe, said it's really good and we're going to give it a try. Um, we're going to use a boxed cake mix, a yellow cake mix. If you make your own cake mix, you could go ahead and do that. And I'll just show you how you put it together. We're going to use a 9 by 13 pan. This is a stoneware baking pan, metal pan, whatever you have, and then grease it. Um, what I did was I have the box cake. I took one cup of the box cake mix out, which is going to be for the topping. Okay, so this is the box cake mix. I'm going to use one egg, and then I'm going to use a half a cup of butter, melted butter, and that's going to go into the batter. And this is going to be the crust, okay, that's going to go on the bottom of the pan. We're just going to mix that together. And then we're going to use um, pumpkin is going to be the filling and with some spices and then we'll just have a crust that goes on top. So you're just going to mix that quickly together. And you're going to spread that on the bottom of your 9 by 13 pan. So it's not going to be a very thick crust, it'll probably be a pretty thin crust. Okay, so what I did was I just used a little icing spreader and spread it on the bottom of the pan. Okay, so that's going to be your crust. And then we'll make the filling. The filling is very simple. It's just um, a can of pumpkin, a big can, a large can of pumpkin. This is a 29-ounce um, can of pumpkin, um, two-thirds cup of milk. Okay. And two eggs. We're just going to mix those together and I'm going to use a whisk to mix them because it'll just mix up a little bit easier. I'm just going to pour that over your crust. And then we're just going to make the crust that's going to go on the top. So for the crust, it's going to be one cup of the cake mix that we took off in the beginning. Okay, you're going to use a um, half cup of sugar, a quarter cup of flour, a teaspoon of cinnamon, and then um, four tablespoons of butter. So what we're going to do is we're going to make like a crumbly crust out of this. So the butter, um, just you want it room temperature. Okay, and then I'm just going to use a pastry blender. You could use two knives, two forks. You could do whatever you want but I'm just going to use a pastry blender because it's easier to do. Okay, and you just want to work it into the flour and sugar. So you, all you're doing is you're just making like a crumb topping. And then we're going to add some nuts in there too. Um, walnuts, pecans, whatever you want to do. We're going to use pecans. Okay. So here's what you're topping, it's just a crumb topping. And what we're going to do is we're just going to put it over top of the cake. You just want it evenly over there. You just want to spread it over your cake. So it's sort of going to be like a pumpkin coffee cake, okay? But just, and if you want to make your own cake mix, go for it. This is just quick and easy. and. And we're just going to take um, pecans and put them on the top. Pecans, walnuts, you could use almonds if you want. And we're just going to chop them up a little bit, okay? And just using a food chopper, or you could use a knife, whichever, whichever you want. And just like a rough chop. And then we'll just put those on top. Okay, and then there you have it. So we're going to, here's our cake. Uh, we're going to stick it in the oven for three, at 350 for 50 to 60 minutes. Um, as with any cake, you're going to just stick a toothpick in, and if it comes off clean, it's done. So we'll take a look at it when it's done. We let it cool for about 45 minutes. We actually put it outside. Um, let it cool for about 45 minutes because the pumpkin is so hot that it would just be way too mushy. And um, it cuts really nice, and you could use whipped cream. Um, you could use whipped cream, ice cream, whatever you want, and we'll check it out. It truly smells really good. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Now that's really good. So, until next time, we'll see you when we see you.